Here's a Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. This will also work for the Watch 7 Ultra. I'm going to show you how to wipe the cache partition. Wiping the cache partition can help your watch that's been like laggy or you're having errors or any other kind of issues. Okay, now wiping the cache partition only deletes temporary files that you really don't need anyway. And once it gets like clogged, it can do slow your phone down, all kinds of other issues. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wipe the cache partition. So in order to wipe the cache partition, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold both buttons here. You got the power slash home button and the back button. What we want to do is press and hold both buttons, keep on holding. Once the Samsung logo appears, let go of both buttons quickly and then tap the home button or the power button here. Okay, so we'll do this together. Home button, back button, ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding here. You may have something on the screen, just ignore it. Just continue to hold. Keep on holding until that Samsung logo appears. Oh, there it is. Now quickly. See, you have to be quick, okay? If you don't, then you're going to have to redo it again, okay? Anyway, from here, what we want to do is go down to recovery, okay? So you want to use the power button here. We're going to go down, 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 down to recovery. If you pass the uh, recovery, just go back up. Just go all the way back down again, okay? Now we're at recovery here. Now to select it, I think you press and hold the power button. Press and hold. Yes. Okay, now just wait here. Let it boot back up. It's gonna should boot us up into the uh, Android recovery menu here. Okay, there we go. Now from here to go down, we want to use the back button, okay? So the bottom button here, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down to where it says wipe cache partition down down wipe cache partition if you pass it just keep going all the way around again until you get back down to wipe cache partition now once you're here we're going to tap that power button or home button here to select it wipe cache for uh wipe uh cache partition once you do this it cannot be done okay so we're going to go ahead and go down one i think we use the back button we're going to go down to yes and now we're going to select it. We're going to press on that home or power button right there. And voila. If you look in the very bottom down here, it says cache wipe complete. Now it defaults us back to reboot system now. Just go ahead and tap the power home button and let it restart normally. And let it boot back up. And there you go. You just wiped your cache partition. Pretty simple.